What's going on guys? Jory here, good used goods, and I got a bolo for you. It's sitting in my hand, I'm not going to turn it around yet so you can't see the name. And this is something, well, you can probably tell what it is by holding these, probably some sort of tester. Uh, this is something I do see passed up a lot at garage sales. And, um, actually, I shouldn't say a lot, I don't see these things come up a lot, but when they do come up, I usually see them passed over or sold for way cheaper than what they bring. And uh, the reason I wanted to show you this one is even beat the hell conditions, it's still a valuable item to grab. What that item is, is a blue. Uh, make sure you check the model numbers, they vary in prices, but these things, brand new, can fetch anywhere from $200 to $800, $900, it really depends on the model number and all the functionalities of it. This is a Fluke Model 177 True RMS Multimeter, and as you can see, it's disgusting and beat to hell. Tested it out, still works perfectly, because it's a well-built tool, it's meant to take some abuse and damage. And even in the condition it's in right now, I could list this thing for $60, $75 working and it'll, it'll be gone probably before the end of the day. Um, it's gross though, so we're going to quickly clean this thing up and photograph it to make the listing look a lot better and hopefully get maybe that 125, 130 range, um, you know, being a little cleaner it does help. And you can see, I was actually trying a couple spots, it is greasy as all hell. If you look closely on this, the plastic does have like it's it's textured it's lightly textured so you get the dirt that builds up inside the texture uh, so you can use a foamy cleaner this is more a fabric one but these foamy cleaners they're like a lifting agent oh, there's one more way and it's the best way to clean this kind of marking off a soft rubber and that is some hot water a little bit of multi-purpose cleaner and dish soap in a bucket and then if you guys can't tell what that is that is a a little bit of an abused, oh, very hot. Ow, God, that water's hot. Magic eraser. Oh my God, it's so hot. Burning my hands, so don't, see, so you need warm water, but um, <laughs> probably not scolding hot like I have it. And if I rub this with the magic eraser, you'll see how good a magic eraser works. Squeeze the magic eraser out too, so that you're not like, soaking this electronic if it is an electronic you're doing this with to be safe pull the batteries out if you're worried about it let it dry for 24 48 hours pop the batteries back in here's another tip i bought no name magic erasers they just crumble apart get the real ones they work but they're not as good uh, another tip too if you're ever using a magic eraser don't use it on uh shiny colored plastics if you do be really light with it because it can result in you pulling the color or finish right off of it I've seen that happen many times especially in automotive Okay, so I have tried forever on that name, that Howie. I think it's been on there so long with Sharpie that it's actually like absorbed past the plastic, like gets soaked in there forever. I don't think it's gonna come out. I've tried everything but 3M adhesive remover, which does strip permanent marker off things. But if you guys ever buy 3M adhesive remover, anything that's a little bit rubbery or like that grippy feeling, 3M adhesive remover will just melted it would just turn this whole thing into a puddle so i can't really use that there we go look at that it's so much cleaner looking it's a little more scuffed up still the only thing i really have left to do to it is plastic wax it and that is made by mcguire's i use this stuff right here plastex i guess they call it um and that will remove a lot of the scuffs and things like that on the back so i'll hit that quick and then uh this will be done
only thing left to do is I soak a rag a little bit with some Final Shine. This is just Simonized stuff. I get it at Canadian Tire. If you're Canadian, I'm sure Walmart carries it too. Actually, maybe not. Simonized might be a Canadian Tire branded product. But any Vinyl Shine will do to stay away from Armor All or Vinyl Shines that have... Um, Oh god, I can't think of the, the word in it. Uh, Armor all has it, it's bad. It dries out your plastics and cracks it over time. Um, you want water-based vinyl shines. You don't want the, um, like, solvents, basically. Um, you don't want, like, a solvent-based vinyl shine because it will eventually dry and crack your plastics out. And all this is doing is putting a light sheen over it and just keeps it from cracking, keeps the dust off. It makes the dark plastics look really good. The fluke case, it is an official one, you can see it says fluke. And yeah, the camera's picking it up. It's a little greasy, dirty, has some names on it. I doubt I'll get the names off it. So I'm going to use the rest of my gross solution that I had my um, magic eraser in. And that is about it and then we'll just scrub this leather down and then hit it with a leather conditioner. Right there is the leather case all cleaned up. The light sucks in here so the camera's having a hell of a time focusing. Sorry about that. You can see I got most of the dirt out. The only thing left is I'm going to hit it with a bit of leather conditioner and then uh, that's done. This thing's ready to list on eBay. That does it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's just a quick video on cleaning and selling a Fluke multimeter. And all I have left to do now is take those nice pictures, upload them to eBay, and try and sell the thing for hopefully about $100, $125. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more content if you're not already. If you want to be notified when I release the next video, hit the little bell notification beside the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.